Hi guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. Today I'm going to be continuing our review of the Jurassic Park toy line with this guy here. And it's Dennis Nedry Mint in Box. Now, there's a couple things you're going to notice, first of all. One, his arm is missing. Um, and there's a bloodied stump showing. Um, more will be explained shortly. And also, he's uh, he's not overweight. He's a skinny guy. Um, neither of these things make sense. Well, one of them does. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at this guy close up and I'll explain a little bit more. Okay. So you'll all remember that Dennis Nedry gets his comeuppance in Jurassic Park and is uh, savagely attacked by a Dilophosaurus. Uh, well, that's why his arm comes off. It's not broken. His arm is meant to come off and it fits into there. So continuing the uh, the dino damage trend of Jurassic Park toys, his arm actually detaches from its socket. It's quite a grim feature, um, and unfortunately mine's come loose in the box, but uh, that's fine. That's, uh, that makes it more appealing to me because I can actually see what the action uh, feature is without having to take him out of his box. But as you can see, he's not overweight. Um, this is a very, uh, a very bad sculpt of uh, Dennis Nedry in terms of screen accuracy. Uh, he's the worst. He's also wearing shades. Um, he's got a holstered gun that's sculpted, and he's wearing black leather gloves. Um, I mean, he's quite a nice action figure. I think the the feature that his arm comes off kind of makes up for it. And then he comes with one of these um, water pistol toys, which always used to annoy me as a kid. It always used to put me off buying the toy because, I don't know, I just didn't like the idea of the water feature. It wasn't as good as a spring-loaded feature. It wasn't. It didn't fire anything. It, it just never appealed to me as a kid. But, you know, it's a cool idea. Um, you know, you can have him spraying some kind of tranquilizer. Or, uh, you know, I don't know, some kind of chemical. Whatever he would be firing. And then uh, you've got his minifigure here, which is ironically the Dilophosaurus, the, the baby version of the thing that eats him. And it's a beautiful sculpt. You can see the, uh, the hatching there for the scales is really nice. Lovely paint job, really striking. Nice beady black eye and the JP logo there really is great and it's got the little fin across the top of the head because it's a Dilophosaurus nice sculpt on the feet as well and then here we've got some kind of headgear I assume yeah I'm not sure we'll have a look on them oh it's um it's a gas mask yeah as you can tell I didn't own this uh, this action figure as a child so this is a gas mask to stop him from uh, being uh, being affected by the trank spray, so he doesn't get uh, he doesn't get any breathing problems. And then up here, you can see the uh, collector's card with Nedry sat at the computer and more than one Dilophosaurus coming to attack him. Uh, whether this was an original idea for the um, death scene of Nedry, I have no idea, but it's quite a nice concept. I like that. Uh, these cards were made, I think, during the production of Jurassic Park, so things might not have been clear about story or characters. So it's really nice to see some of these. They give us a little bit of an insight as to what might have been going on with pre-production. Um, so that's cool. And Nedry looks fatter there. So they can get it right on the card, but they couldn't get it right on the action figure, so that's a shame. There's the Jurassic Park logo. Dennis Nedry with Trank Spray Gun and Dino Damage Arm. So that's what it is. It's a tranquilizer spray gun. Cool. And on the back, we've got Dennis Nedry with Spray Gun and Dino Damage Arm. Here's a little image of the Dilophosaurus looking a bit darker in that picture. And here he is with all his kit on. He actually looks awesome there. Really good. Now, has he got a different paint job? Yeah, he has. So his trousers here are black, 
and his top is this dark turquoise and then on the back here he's got beige trousers that's odd isn't it oh well and then uh, he, he's wearing his gas mask there he looks cool and here someone is filling up his trank gun with water and spraying it quite cool and then you've got Tim, Alan, Ellie, Muldoon, Nedry all the dinosaurs there and the uh, the more expensive line, the electronic raptor and the electronic dilophosaurus the T-Rex there which was uh, a stand-in the Stan Winston stand-in T-Rex because the toy wasn't ready for his close-up with electronic roar and stomping sound and soft dino skin and the figures are sold separately they look great there absolutely brilliant and now we've got the Kenner logo and the JP logo there. So, in terms of my collection, uh, this is all that remains of Dennis Nedry. I don't have any of his accessories. I'm not even sure I had this figure as a kid. I think it was bought for me later on when I was maybe at least just over 10. And uh, yeah, he didn't get much play, which is why he's in such good condition. But I realised that actually both of his arms pop off. So. Um, this is because I didn't have him as a toy. I didn't, I didn't really get to play with him like that. But he's got the, he's got the holes there where his arms go. You can see right through him. But um, it's not as accurate as the Dino Damage. It's just like a pop-on piece of plastic. But it's still cool that his arms can pop off. It's quite a lot of playability there. Um, obviously, the sculpt is really bad because he looks nothing like Dennis Nedry. But uh, still, it's nice to nice to see him out of the box, and uh, he's got a swivel head, so it can go 360. Can turn him right round. Woo! His arms can swivel up and down. Quite tight joints. Oh, and they click. They seem to be slightly ratcheted, probably because of this uh, clip. This clip-on arm seems to make it ratchet. And then you've got Kung Fu kick legs. So yeah, so there he is. Dennis Nedry. Not fat. So I actually really like this action figure. Um, I'm not put off really at all by the fact that the sculpt is bad. Um, and by the fact that um, his arm comes off. I think that's a great feature. I really like the dino damage on the dinosaurs, so to have it on one of the the characters is actually really good. And actually, really gory for a you know a toy of that time. Um, I'm not sure my parents would have uh, totally been okay with me playing with this toy um, <laughs> at the time, but it's a really great, well thought out toy. And I like the fact he comes with a gas mask as well. Um, it's just a nice feature. The water spray gun could be a projectile gun you know like a spring-loaded gun but then I suppose the gas mask it all ties in with this being sort of a, a spray gun and I like the fact that he comes with his Dilophosaurus uh, the one that attacks him it's kind of ironic and uh, the collector's card is really good as well it gives us a little insight into maybe a lost scene who knows but um, do let me know if you own this toy already um, he's quite um, he's not as common as Alan Grant, Ellie and Muldoon but he does come up on eBay and he's not that expensive so he is worth picking up if you can ok cool rate, comment and subscribe if you want to thanks for watching guys see you soon